So this is the third phase of our Felton program. We call it phase two. We've completed two previous phases, phase zero and phase one. So this is the evolution of our work over the last three years or so. We've got three further phases to go. So we really are in the middle of this program to re-signal uh, this part of the railway for, for the Wessex route. For Felton phase two, this is the first time we've actually worked with our supply chain partners and followed the subcontracting model. So it's really great to be stood in the control centre today watching three of our supply chain partners delivering the work on track with our control centre getting the live updates from all three of them and really integrating and working as one big team. What's different about this phase is we're rolling out some of the digital implementation tools as well as actually rolling out the digital signalling. So things like the use of iAuditor so we get live tracking of tasks that we're delivering and also our on-track plant and machinery has got uh, live geospatial tags on them so we can see exactly where they are and, and, and how they're progressing through the site. We've had a big volume of work, about 142 axle counters, 80 odd AWSs to install, 70 odd TPWS, 8 PSPs as part of this phase as well which is pretty unprecedented, it took a lot of organisation between ourselves, our agency staff and our, our contractors as well. For our Atkins business, this program is, is really demonstrating the reliability of the Trilogix uh, signalling system. This is the fifth time we've deployed Electrologix for network rail in a variety of different routes, and we really are starting to see the system perform now. There are multiple level crossings on this route. We've tied one level crossing back into the old signalling system before commissioning it to the new, and then we've got several other level crossings into the new system. It brings into use the second workstation at Basingstoke Rock, so it really is starting to show how we can scale up the the platform and deliver significant amounts of signalling using it. The data tools we've used in the background are now much more mature and the whole quality of the installation is exactly where we want it to be. My highlight of the day, I guess appreciation of what, what the project and, and what, what the resignaling uh, project actually is, but it's just the scale of it. You know, I come to the, uh, the, the depot and the site compounds and it's so well organised. The planning and the enthusiasm and seeing all the teams working together, supply chain, network rail, our own staff, absolutely fantastic. Phase three and four is, is really a chance for us to build on what we've done so far. We've got great foundations and we've learned how we really work well together as a team. So that's the real opportunity we've got to, to come together even better as a team and deliver as a high performing unit to, to, to really excel and make sure the next phases, which are the biggest phase of the programme so far, will be delivered on time, on budget and absolutely delight the users. I just want to say absolute thank you for the whole of the team, you know, put themselves out, both the planning, you know, this is two years in the making, it's just been awesome to see, and the dedication and just talking to some of the staff at the uh, compound just brings it all to life, so a massive thank you and you know, on behalf of the business, you know, thank you very much.